So I'm here to show you the fantastic new deferred rendering feature in the up and coming Unity version 3. For those of you unfamiliar with deferred rendering, in a nutshell it's a different way of rendering light to surface information that can offer great improvements to your games in terms of aesthetics and performance. Unity 3.0 features a simple toggle in the player settings to choose between the existing forward lighting and deferred lighting, meaning that as soon as your scene needs to feature many lights, you can simply enable deferred lighting and maintain or even increase performance with the added visual benefits of further lighting. To show this off, we have this highly GPU intensive scene that continuously adds lights in order to demonstrate how much strain both rendering modes can cope with. As you see it at present, the scene is being shown off with the existing forward rendered lighting. And whilst it looks good, Unity limits the number of lights shown to the pixel light count specified in the quality settings in order to maintain performance. Switch to deferred rendering and this pixel light limitation is no longer used as Unity renders all lights fully. And because of the way this information is buffered, maintains performance that forward rendering would struggle to even get close to. Let's take a look at this scene again more closely. With the lights in it set to important rendering mode, this forces them all to be fully rendered in forward lighting mode, ignoring the pixel light count. After two and a half minutes, as the number of lights in the scene builds up to several hundred, with forward lighting the frame rate drops right down to around 5 frames per second. Trying the same test again shows that with deferred lighting, and after the same amount of time, the frame rate holds steadily at around 40 frames per second, a performance improvement of an amazing 500%. Performance boosts such as these also mean that previously very expensive camera effects are now viable with deferred rendering. For example, screen space ambient occlusion or depth of field effects, both fully available in the new Unity 3 image effects allowing you to deliver even more mind-blowing professional games to your audience.